Hi, this is Angela Stockman. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate some different ways um, to be able to add graphics and themes to a digital notebook inside of Google Slides. In the last tutorial that I shared, I spoke to the fact that we can actually adjust through page setup and customize the size of the paper that we're using and the slide that we're creating for the digital notebooks that students will work with. I'm working with an eight and a half by 11 size slide because I wanna replicate the view of a document. There are some different things that you can do in order to make this look even prettier and like something that students would want to work with. If you are sharing this slide deck yourself and you're inserting your own content and it's really something that you're using and students are adding to, you might be the one who's making these choices in terms of the graphics that are added. If this is something that your students will also be interacting with you around, that they will be making copies of, they will also probably benefit from learning a little bit about how to customize um, Google Slides in order to create great digital notebooks that look the way that they want them to. If we look up here on the toolbar, one of the things that you're going to see is you have the ability to change the background color right here. And so for my purposes, I might today choose to use this blue background. What we know is that for accessibility purposes, if we're going to have a darker background, then we want to make sure, for instance, that the font that we're using is a little bit lighter so that there's a decent contrast between the background color and the color of the font. We can adjust text colors right up here. And I'm going to choose to use white. Although I'll be honest, I experiment with this quite a bit. I've highlighted my name. I could have also just chosen um, to change the font color itself, but I wanted to add a little bit of contrast. I can also click on these elements and move them around right inside of the space. I could also choose alternatively to look at different themes by clicking on the theme button up in the toolbar. This panel will open and I can actually choose to work with one of the prefabricated themes that's offered to me directly in slides. Oftentimes I'll experiment with these and get a sense of whether or not I like one of them more than another. And if I choose that I don't want to go with any of those at all, I'll just go back to my original layout and I can find that original view at the very top of the themes offerings. You can also use the insert button to add images either from the computer or drive your photo albums. You can add a link from a URL. You can even use the camera on your computer um, or other device, or you can search the web. I might want to, for instance, um, put a, a gear on my notebook because this is going to be a notebook that's specific to the making work that I do. And in this case, I can drag these images over. I can also adjust their sizes by dragging and dropping and moving them around. And if I want to play with them further, I can click on Format Options. I can work with Size and Rotation here. This is where I might turn them around if I don't want to drag them manually myself. I can work with positioning a little bit here as well. I can recolor to some degree the images that are given to me from Google. And I can also play with transparency here, brightness, and contrast. If I want to add a drop shadow around the photo, I can certainly do that, or a mirror reflection as well. These are some of the simpler ways to work right within Google Slides in order to customize and add aesthetic value to the notebook that you're creating. 
In another tutorial, I'll be sharing one of my favorite tools, Canva, which can up your game a little bit um, and enable you to create incredibly beautiful and um, digital notebooks that look like they are professionally designed.